Hey everyone and welcome back to by Holly G. Welcome to today's video. So as I said in my last video where I talked about why you should study biology at A level, I basically wanted to share some of the reasons why you should study biology or consider studying biology at Cambridge within the natural sciences tri-course degree. So obviously that is my degree, my undergraduate degree. I did biological natural sciences at Cambridge for three years and so I just thought I would therefore share some of the things that I took away from that degree and hopefully inspire you or encourage you to apply to study biology at Cambridge. So yeah, this is today's video. I really hope you enjoy it. Definitely give it a thumbs up if you do. If you have any specific questions, feel free to leave them down below. And yeah, if you are new around here and you want to join the biology community for everything biology, then definitely hit the subscribe button and the bell so you know when I upload. And yeah, we'll get straight into the video. So my first reason then as to why you should study biology at Cambridge within natural sciences is because the degree is so, so flexible. And that is ultimately why I chose this degree. It is a three or four year course, but you can essentially create your own course, which is so incredible. And you can basically choose the modules that you complete in every year and you can choose how you want to specialize. The degree basically gives you the opportunity to try new subjects. For example, in my first year, I did earth sciences, which is something I never thought I'd really do. But you can basically learn which subjects you enjoy the most and you can therefore curate your own degree. As I said, like you can choose which path you want to go down and how you want to specialize in your like third and fourth years if you do a fourth year. Often people end up doing something completely different to what they originally thought they'd do, which is totally fine. But I just think that goes to show that, you know, having a degree that is so set in stone is often not the best thing because you might find out one year down the line that you don't actually like that specialization. You want to try something else. So having a degree that you kind of like create as you go along is so cool. And I just think that's definitely a selling point for natural sciences. I literally sound like a walking ad for Cambridge and for natural sciences. This is not an ad at all in any way. I'm just sharing my honest thoughts, you know. Leading on from that first point then, the degree is really diverse. Like there are so many different modules you can take and that is another really good reason as to why you should choose to study natural sciences and to study biology within natural sciences. Because, you know, as I said before, I could do earth sciences, which is not biology, biology. Yes, it did have some biological aspects to it. But you know, there are so many different modules that you can take. On the screen, I will note down all of the modules that I took in my first, second and third years, just in case you were interested and intrigued. But you know, the course is so diverse. Like I did everything from like plant biology in my first year to earth sciences. I did some neurobiology. I then ended up specializing in cancer biology. Like the course is just so diverse. This again kind of relates to what I've said previously. But the third thing that I just wanted to mention was that within the natural sciences tripods and even as a biologist, you will take a compulsory maths module in your first year. The majority of the degree is written, but you will have that maths module in your first year. And it was really, really tough. Like it was a really really challenging module okay it's called maths for biologists or something like that but i just think it adds a new dimension again to your course you know you acquire new skills i did a bit of basic coding you do like statistics which is really important in science and for biologists you know now you don't have to do maths for biologists you can do like a more advanced maths course or like a pure maths course which few biologists take but that's mostly designed for like physicists and chemists my fourth reason sounds kind of backwards but you just have to roll with it at first the reason why i think the degree sets you up really well for like the future and your future studies is because you are going to be thrown into the deep end okay in your first year you are going to be so busy and very full-on you will have four modules you will be doing like five hour labs, you'll have lots of supervisions, you'll have lots of other stuff going on, supervision work. And in your first year at university, obviously you're trying out new clubs and societies and stuff as well. All of the modules as well are very broad, like you learn so, so much. You are definitely gonna feel like you are drowning at points. It is very, very intense, I'm not gonna lie. But the reason why I think that is a good thing is because if you can get through your first year of natural sciences at Cambridge, Trust me, you can do your second and third years, not easily, but you will get through them because unlike other degrees, which get progressively more intense, with natural sciences, it's set up in a way that, as I said, you are thrown into the deep end and then it doesn't get easier, but like you don't have as many modules in your second and third years, 
you have more independent learning, you have more flexibility to do your own thing, you know, you get the hard bit out of the way at the start, and then the rest is not a breeze, it's definitely not a breeze, but they set you up really nicely, you know, if you can do your first year, you can get for anything. So number five is all to do with independence. Now, obviously, with any degree at university, you're not going to be spoon fed. The lecturers will give you the lectures, they will give you a taste of what research is out there and then you were given the opportunity to you know go away and do what you want with that information to do your own research and stuff like that and i just really think that cambridge kind of takes that to the extreme you are given the opportunity to do your own independent work and do your own independent research and this is most applicable in your second and third years really your third year because as i said your first year is so intense like you will not really have any time to do any extra reading and they don't really expect you to do that i definitely didn't do any extra reading in first year and i did fine but you know in your second and third years find the fields within biology that you enjoy the most so for example for me i loved epigenetics and i loved cancer biology when you come to doing an exam you can hopefully write an essay on a topic that you enjoy and something that you feel most confident in writing about like it has enough structure for you to get through it but it gives you so many opportunities to do what you want with that degree and it all goes back to you know what i said at the start you are basically curating and creating your own degree as you go number six then is all to do with like writing essays as i said before the degree is mostly written especially in my third year i just wrote so so many essays and obviously i wrote essays just for like practice throughout the year and i wrote essays under time pressure in exams and stuff but what i'm trying to ultimately say is that i truly learnt how to write good scientific and good biology essays at Cambridge because A I wrote so many and B I kind of discovered how I like to write best and yeah I just think it truly taught me how to write like a scientist and obviously at the start your essays are not going to be like the best essays you've ever written in like your first year and stuff but you know, as you progress, you're gonna be getting better and better every time. It's not gonna be linear progress all the time, but you know, you are gonna make a lot of improvement. Like it's gonna be a very, very steep learning curve. Related to that, obviously to write essays, I had to do my own like reading and I especially did this in my third year, a bit in second year as well. But you know, I read a lot of papers. Oh, is that Mini? Mini! Mini! I'm gonna sit here like a koala bear, okay? Yes, right, if you haven't met Milk before, because I don't know if she's been on the biology channel, but you know, if you haven't met her, this is Milka. But with like reading papers and stuff, I learned how best to read a paper, how to make notes on a paper, and I learned, most importantly, how to critically analyze and evaluate that paper, you know, to look for the key results to look for the limitations in that paper to say where the research needs to go in the future you know and that was so fun as i said before like if you are interested in a particular topic you can go away and do more research on that Ooh, cutie pie you gonna sit still please sit oh little pop pop number eight then is basically all to do with like supervisions a supervision is basically a small group teaching session at oxford they're called tutorials at the start i definitely had excuse me oh God. <laughs> at the start i definitely had a hard time with supervisions i was really shy and it took me a while to find my confidence in those situations but I can definitely hands down say that supervisions are really valuable and it is just so apparent from supervisions that supervisors genuinely love their subject. You know, they love the research that they're doing because they can just talk and talk and talk about their subject and in that respect, it really just inspires you. And even though it may not be apparent and it might not feel this way, they genuinely want the best for you. Like if they give you a bit of critical feedback on an essay or they say it's not that great, you know, like they are only saying that because they want you to improve and they know that you can improve. Another really cool thing that you take away from supervisions is that the supervisors have often been supervising those particular modules for a long time. And so they not only know a lot about the subject, but they know about how the exams work and so they can give you exam technique and exam strategies and they're gonna help you when it comes to you know taking the exams at the end of the year also for me in my second year which was so incredible and something that you don't often get in a natural sciences degree which is a very busy course with like lots of students i had one-to-one -one supervisions with an honestly amazing supervisor who is like an expert in their field but you know i had one-on-one -on -one weekly sessions with 
an academic and those were hands down my favorite supervisions i did have others where it was just me and another student so two on one but you know they're really really intimate settings and so you can ask your questions you can have these academic discussions and you can really learn from those sessions yeah it definitely is like one of the amazing things about Cambridge and Oxford, you know, those supervisions or tutorials. I need your thumbnails. Can you remind me when you do thumbnails after this for my, my main channel video, darling? Yes. Number nine is basically that it is gonna be a fun challenge. I was just never bored. You know, I was always kept on my toes. I was always thinking, I was always doing, I was always writing, you know, Cambridge, stretched me and it challenged me but it was a fun challenge at the end of the day cambridge is like ultimately where i fell in love with biology you know i fell for biology at cambridge for me for example the labs were really really challenging especially in first year like i would run around not run around literally because you're not allowed to run in a lab but i would literally have no idea what was going on in these labs because they were so busy there was so much going on and like i literally just felt like i knew nothing in those labs i literally felt like i was drowning it was so intense but you basically learn how to navigate those difficult situations like you will ultimately get through it as i said it's going to be challenging but it's going to be fun and so yeah the stress of the degree and like the challenging aspect might not sound too appealing but like you're not gonna learn through just staying in your comfort zone like you have to challenge yourself milk or his like just staring at me um it's so cute but Minnie, can we have like a less intense stare please my last point then number 10 basically summarizes everything and you know i truly believe that having studied biology at cambridge i was taught how to think like a scientist and i ultimately grew into a scientist and a biologist at cambridge if we're gonna go that far i really think that that is what Cambridge did for me and I will be entirely grateful for my three years there. I was taught how to think like a biologist, how to write like a biologist, and it truly taught me that everything in biology is interrelated. Like nothing is ever standalone in the subject. Like you can always make links between your different modules and your different subjects. And that to me is just so fascinating. And I think Cambridge really taught me how to find those links and make those links what you learn in one subject can be applied to another and to another and vice versa and it's just it's just so cool like i love that about biology so yeah those are my like 10 top reasons why you should study biology at cambridge and as i said at the start if you have any like specific questions feel free to leave them down below never say never like often people ask me you know what happens if i apply and i don't get a place you know like that doesn't matter at the end of the day like if you want to apply you're gonna learn something through the application process and you never know until you try definitely like this video if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new and as always i will speak to you very soon in another video bye min min you want to say goodbye you can't just come into the video and not say bye Oh, don't turn your head. Oh, there you go. Say bye-bye.